I bring you greetings from St. John Temple of Praise. This is First Lady Deborah Cunningham coming to you today just to give you some words of encouragement. We thank God for our pastor and we just thank God for each and every one of you all that have decided to come in and um, just listen to some words of encouragement while we are still quarantined to our homes. Uh, why we're supposed to stay at home and, and only go out for non-essential things. Just a few words of encouragement. Uh, this morning we want to look at where we look in times of trouble. And my reference scripture will be coming from Revelations chapter 7. And you can review this at your own leisure. But it's Revelations chapter 7 verses 9 through 12. In times of trouble, people may tend to focus on their problems. We should not be focused on the problems. We know who's got everything in control. We know that God has the whole world in his hands. We can look to find inspiration to focus on God in times of trouble. John depicted a large group of excited worshipers who had come through a difficult ordeal. One of the most inspiring pictures of heaven is given by John in the seventh chapter of Revelation. John gives us a preview of what life will be like in the new creation, how Christians will be victorious over the trials and tribulations and suffering that they experience during their lives. Even though we're going over trials and tribulations, we still have the victory. Amen? It says in Revelations chapter 7, verse 9, After this I behold and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne, and behold, the Lamb clothed with white robes and palm in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne unto the Lamb. In today's passage of scripture, beginning at Revelation 7 and 9, John answers the question, who will be in heaven? He describes heavenly assembly and a great multitude, a great multitude that no man could count. The description of this multitude as being from every nation, tribe, people, and language evokes the promise of Abraham that God would multiply his offsprings to be the vast dust of the earth. The Israelites were chosen by God to be a royal priesthood, image bearers of their makers, however they fail. Think about it. We have been chosen as a royal priesthood. Have we failed God? Have we turned our back on God? Have we left our first love? When John saw the heavenly congregation, he said, said to them, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb, standing before the Lamb, the saints were dressed in white robes, symbolizing their spiritual victory and holding palm branches, symbolizing their victory in Christ. I know during this period of time, uh, we're in Lent, we're in the Passover, we're moving into Easter, uh, we don't know what the government is going to say about our uh, uh, quarantines or we continue to stay at home, but we still know that we're going to triumph over victory. We're going through tribulation times right now, but we're going to triumph over them. And so as we look at in the book of Revelations, there are coming attractions centered around God and Jesus Christ. Just as Christians in John's day, they needed hope and encouragement to continue to fight the battle and to remain faithful in the face of tremendous difficulties. We need in this day and time the same kind of encouragement and inspiration. We know that people may be out of jobs, uh, people don't know if they're going to have a job when this thing passes over. Uh, people may be out of different items. We know that there was a point in time where they 
didn't have any toilet tissue, paper towels. The shelves were empty. But we are going to triumph in victory over this thing. John's vision of heaven is better than any coming attraction. We will see it on the silver screen in heaven. Revelation promised us the real thing where God through Christ will give us victory over all our trials, our tribulations, our disappointments, our heartaches, our pains. Let us be encouraged today to go forth fighting with faith and determination, confronting obstacles. Know that we share an eternal future with a great multitude of saints. We are promised an inheritance that will replace every heartache, every disappointment, every rejection, every failure, every tribulation we've had to endure in this life. Heaven's future casts a light of hope and joy over any present condition that we are facing right now. Our hope is in Jesus. He's got the whole world in his hand. When you know that Jesus loves you, when you know that Christ died for you, heaven waits for you with an everlasting joy and peace. Amen? You will never have anything to truly worry about in this life. We should have no worries in this life because we know God's got it. God's got our back. He's got the whole world in his hand. And as I close, I'm going to offer up a word of prayer. Father God, we come before you this morning, this evening, tonight. We just come offering you thanksgiving. We offer you praise. We magnify you, God, and we glorify you, God, through the midst of our trials, through the midst of our tribulations, through the midst of COVID-19. We still give you praise, oh God, because we know you sit high on the throne and you look low. Father God, we know that Jesus is making intercession on our behalf. And Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Father God, we pray for those that have been affected by this COVID-19. Father, we pray for the loved ones that have family members that are ill, that family members that have gone on, that have passed on to glory. Father, we give you praise, God, to give them strength and comfort in their time of need, God. Oh, Father God, and we come for praying, Father, for the whole wide world, God. Oh, Father, if we never needed you before, we need you now, oh, God. So, Father, go before us and make the crooked path straight. Oh, Father, keep your angels encamped about us, oh, God. Oh, Father, give us strength. Give us peace that surpasses all understanding through the midst of this, God. We lift up, Father, everyone in the United States, God. All of the states and the, the cities and the counties, Father, that are dealing with this COVID-19. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, Father, that you cover them in your blood. Father, we thank you for your blood, Father, because there's power in your blood. There's healing in your blood. There's deliverance in your blood. There's healing in your blood. And we give you glory, God. And we give you praise, God, for all that you're doing in our lives, Father. So we thank you, Father, on this day. And we lift up all churches, Father, unto you, God. Churches that have to go now and, and, and go about ch church in a, another way. Church is still going forth. And we are the church. The church is in us. So you continue to just thank God for your many blessings. Thank God for your strength and your encouragement. And i like today to offer to those that don't know Christ and the pardon of their sin, offer them salvation. <clears throat> if you would like to receive the gift of God he has for you today, say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you that you died for me. I believe that you're risen from the dead and that you're coming back again. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. If you said that prayer, we give God praise. He rejoices over one. And we just thank you for it. Because now you're saved. You're born again. 
and you're forgiven and you're on your way to heaven because you have Jesus in your heart. Amen. And if we have anyone that have any prayer request, you can go to our, you can come to our website and at the top, there's a link for our email address. Please click on that link. If you have a need, please click on that link. Our website is St. John, T-O-P, at Outlook.com. I'm sorry, our email is St. John, T-O-P, at Outlook.com. We thank you, and we praise you, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. to close the, the video. I just